Okay, Google. Open curtains 50%. Got it. Opening the curtains to 50%. Hey, what's up good people? You're welcome to Tech Talk on the channel MC Smart Homes. It's your regular boy Clay and I'm here with another video. I know uh, it's been a little while I did consecutive videos. I've had some logistic problems, but I'm here now. And so guys, before I continue, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do guys. Do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you can have instant updates every time. I mean every time we have a new video. And please, you can share the video, pass it with your homie. Leave a comment, like the video, if you like the video. Yes, I'll wait. Thank you for subscribing guys. And today we'll be looking at um, Cartoon Moto. I know in the past I've done two, I've done two uh, Cartoon Motos by Xiaomi. And today I'll be doing something completely different. So this is what it is. This is how it came. So I'll just take it off and we see how it looks. I already have one installed. so. This is just for you to have a feel of the unboxing process. Especially to you, Sylvia Winding. I know you like unboxing. Fortunately, you're not here. All right, so this is the boy. So this is a user manual. And right here, is the curtain controller so this should go to the other side you go unfortunately and this is the user manual thankfully it is in english and in chinese Every little thing from setup and the app and everything else, it's right here. So, there you go. Right here is the remote control. It was packaged differently. And so, I'll show you. The remote control also has a small user manual. All in Chinese. And then it has this cool looking remote control and a wall mount so this is the remote control and it's wall mount attached to it so everything else to the side so this is it so guys this one has all its you know as you can see the cables live neutral and the earth so you have to attach a plug to this. I guess the rationale is since they don't know the length between your curtain and your um, socket, they choose to leave it like this. But I would have loved to have it already, you know. So you can just use maybe an extension to wherever you need it to go. But still cool, still okay. And this is a cable used for, re for setting it up for, or resetting. So here is a set button. So you press that and then you have the indicator light. Here you have uh, RJ45 uh, port. So if you want to connect this to the internet by cable, you just do that. But you can still do um, through Wi-Fi. And then this 
right here is just a you know a support so when you have it plugged in you, you use this to pin it to wherever you need it to be here is the moto pin I'm not sure that's how to call it and then it hooks it hooks on on the curtain rails this is powered by Toya and the good thing about this one is it works with Google Assistant that is the cool thing about it so I can voice command it from uh, my Google Assistant speaker or the Google Assistant clock and this would work that is the best part of it for me on the build of this it, it looks a little big but ah, I would say it's it doesn't feel as solid as that the Akara version that's from Xiaomi the build quality is not the same like that made by Xiaomi the Akara uh, A1 or the B1 but on this other side of the globe where we use Google Assistant and not the shall I this for me overshadows that the fact that I can tell you to come on and it comes on overshadows the fact that it's not that you know nicely built like the Akara version okay Google close the curtains okay closing the curtains Okay, Google, open curtains 50%. Got it. Opening the curtains to 50%. Okay, Google, close curtains. All right, closing the curtains. The other thing is about the reels. So, um, the curtain rails are slightly different from those of uh, the Akara A1 and the B1s. The good thing is they are foldable. They are not just straight long like. So I got two meters of curtain rails, but they were folded into two. One meter. So that is pretty cool for transportation and all that. But um, this part where it hooks up, is different so I was hoping I could use uh, the curtain uh, rails which I used before with the Akara curtain control with this one but I couldn't because they are slightly different so guys that is the difference that I can use my phone to control it I can use the remote control to control it and I can use my voice to control it. So I have it in the Toya app, which I can control. So that is pretty cool for me. So as you can see, I have the Toya curtain on the Toya app, which I can control. And I also have it on uh, the Google Home app. Uh, let me see I also have curtains on my Google Home app so I can control it from here I can control it from Toya I can use the remote control I can use my voice to control it or still I can open it manually just like every ordinary curtain that is one thing about smart devices which I always try to point out the fact that even without the smart future, the smart feature, not future, the smart feature, you can use them manually.
so you can use them like every ordinary curtains say there is no electricity or there is no internet or you lost your remote you can open the curtains and close them regularly if there is power and you pull gradually it will you know it kick starts the motor and it pulls right through so these are the things about this curtain guys let me know what you think in the comment section let's go guys hey hope you left your comment please do before leaving thanks guys until the next video peace